Welcome back to the William Penn Coaches Show held here at Wood Iron Grill. The Wood Iron Grill, once again, the main sponsor of William Penn Athletics and has been a huge help in supporting us and allowing us to let you guys all know what's going on inside William Penn Athletics. Today, we have our fall coaches back in the hot seat. We'll be talking to head women's volleyball coach, the head football coach, as well as the head shotgun sports coach, Coach Eaton, who I have with me right now. Yep. So, Coach, you guys have found a lot of success so far this season, including a great performance last week at the national tournament uh, in Ohio. For those of you who haven't been following along, give us a little rundown of what you guys competed in, as well as how you guys finished up. Okay, yeah, um, last week we traveled to um, Marengo, Ohio for the SCTP Collegiate Nationals. Um, we started off on Wednesday with shooting the International Disciplines, um, which is International Ski and Bunker Track. Um, at the end of the week, we found out that we actually won those two titles. So for that's the Shotgun Sports, that's our first two national titles in, in the history of the sport. So um, the rest of the week, we competed in the American Disciplines, um, Skeet, Sporting Clays, and Trap. Um, we were a little weak in a couple of the disciplines I thought we should have been stronger in, but we ended up taking runner-up in those. Um, but then we just found out yesterday, because we had to leave early from the tournament, um, that we actually won the trap division title too. So we took three out of the five titles for the national tournament. So it was a good week. So big shout out to the Shotgun yeah. Sports Coach, still a relatively new program to William Penn, and yeah. they are absolutely killing it this year. They are doing amazing. <laughs> So you talked about some of those international shooting events. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the difference between those and then regular events and just how that competitive level is heightened. Um, on the international events, that's, uh, they're, they're considered the Olympic events. Um, so that's a little bit different than your American events. Um, it's just a total different sequence. It's a timing issue. Um, the discipline is so much greater for those disciplines. Um, actually, in international ski, they only take two out of the United States every four years. So it's a pretty big deal. So, yeah. How do you guys prepare differently to get the kids ready for those? Um, it, it's a totally different practice situation. I hold those practices totally separate. Um, bunker is a little bit hard because we don't have a bunker field around here, so we kind of have to do a makeshift one. Um, but we're managing. We're managing. Yeah. All right. So, so far, you've got to kind of scope out your team for a few months this year. Yep. On the women's side, who are some players who have stood out to you? Um, every one of my teammates are a player in some sort. Um, we do have some that are a little bit stronger in certain disciplines. Uh, Wrigley Bishop is a strong um, all-American trap shooter. Um, Kaylin Sieber from Minnesota, she's coming on strong as an all-around shooter. She just loves pulling the trigger. So um, all, all of my girls, they're doing great. They're had a lot of personal bests this past few weeks. So it's, it's great to see that part. Yeah. Good. And then what about on the men's side? Who should we keep an eye out for? Uh, men's side, again, we've had some great performances the past couple of weeks. Um, Cade Duncan shot his first perfect round this past week at the national event. So he was on the big stage, shot his first perfect round of 100 straight. So that was great. Um, Matthew Brindley, he's, he's another one of the freshmen. He's a great international shooter. So he was one of our highest shooters there. Um, there again, all the male athletes on the team can perform at any given time. So. So, did your experience at that national tournament kind of heighten expectations you have for this team this season? Um, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, the two disciplines I thought we'd be really strong in, we kind of fall off a little bit. We still got runner-up. Um, but we lost the HOA division by 32 birds out of 3,000. So, if I can pick up a couple more there, and they know it. And they still did a great job for a freshman on a, a big stage like that against... I mean, Alabama was there, Clemson was there. I mean, you got some big time names out there shooting, and they're stepping on the field and going right up head to head with them. So, it was how fun. does it feel for these kids to know that they are competing against these big schools and that they are keeping up with them and even beating some of them? It, later on in the week, they finally realized where they could stand against these big teams. Um, if they had that feeling at the beginning of the week, I think we would have had a different outcome, totally. Um, but now they know going into like ACUI Nationals this March and stuff that what they can do and, and what they got to do to prepare. Yep, yeah. and with your fall season just coming to an end, so that spring season to look forward to, yep. what events are you specifically looking forward to? Um, for the rest of this fall season, um, we have our state event, our conference meet, um, November 13th and 14th. That's probably our last big one. 
Um, so this week I kind of give them the week off because we were traveling so long, um, getting homework and stuff like that. Done. But, um, next week we're going to get right back at it, get prepared. And their goal is to sweep the conference. So that's, that's a good goal for the team. So, And I know they can do it. So right. we'll see what happens. That's what I'd like to hear. Thank yep. you, guys. That was head shotgun sports coach, Coach Heaton. Up next, we all have the head women's volleyball coach right after the spring. Hi, this is Michael, owner of the Wood Iron Grill in Oskaloosa on South 11th Street, your home for chef-inspired cuisine. From the delectable food that we serve to our gracious hospitality, the Wood Iron Grill provides a warm atmosphere with panoramic views of emerald fairways and rolling greenery. We're proud to call Oskaloosa home and proud to be awarded the best burger in the state. If you're looking for extraordinary flavor and impeccable service, it doesn't get any better than the Wood Iron Grill. Check out our events and special calendar online or on Facebook. It's more than an education. It's more than a degree. William Penn University is alive with opportunity. Opportunity in a diverse student body. Opportunity in a staff that works with your budget. Opportunity in over 30 programs of study. Opportunity in a classroom where your voice is heard. Find your future and the opportunities waiting for you. Start your planning today at wmpenn.edu and see why William Penn University is alive with opportunity. For nearly 40 years, Musco has specialized in the design and manufacture of sports and large area lighting solutions. From neighborhood ball fields to international speedways, Musco is committed to providing cost-effective lighting solutions and services you can rely on. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting, we make it happen. All right, guys, we are back at Wood Iron Grill, back with the coaches show. This time I have head women's volleyball coach, Coach Cleaver, with me. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. So, Coach, let's talk about Tuesday night's big win against league rivals and 24th range at Grandview. <laughs> Everybody loves that. Coach, tell me, how did your team play? That was fun. That was, a, that was a fun night. Um, it was nice to see us bounce back in that first set. You know, yep. you have a choice to rise or, you know, crumble, and the girls really, you know, pulled together, and they rose to the occasion. Uh, and it was really fun to see them go out there and to really earn a victory like that and to do it together. Yes, and that game put you guys to 6-6 six and six in conference play, going into kind of that last stretch of games. You guys got about a month, just over a month left. Um, what kind of momentum does that give the girls going into that last stretch? Yeah, it's really good momentum, something we really needed. Um, but we also, you know, need to, to attack every opponent, you know, with the same intensity and same excitement. We'll talk about that daily. Um, and so, you know, that was, a, you know, a, a win they really wanted, but we need to want every single victory coming up just like that one. And the first time you were in here, you told me about some of the girls that stood out to you, some team leaders. Is there anyone else who stood out, maybe someone new or someone you didn't expect who has kind of stepped up and taken a high role in the team? Yeah. Um, we've had a handful of girls step up as of late. Um, we've had a freshman DS that uh, jumped into the starting lineup, and she's done a really good job. Um, it's fun to see her progress and to keep growing, and so that's been nice. Um, offensively, we've seen a lot of production out of our outsides and our middles, which we really liked. I think our middles have really controlled the tempo of the game, and so we need them to continue to do so, and so it's just nice to see them go out there and play like they're able to. Yes, and in that game against Grandview, you were able to get your hands on the ball a lot. I believe you guys had 10 blocks at the end of that game. Yeah. Uh, throughout the game, it just seemed like the team chemistry was working really well together. Everyone was playing as a team, and you were able to pull out the win. So what do you have to say about that team's chemistry this year. Yeah, um, that, that was big. The, the blocking game is really important to us. You know, it's the first line of defense, and so for us, we really want to get touches on balls as often as possible. Um, you know, getting a straight down block, that's just icing on the cake. But uh, the girls did a really good job, and we talked about all the time about we need everybody to be up if we want to be up as a team. And so, you know, regardless if you're on the court or off the court, we need everybody up, energy up, you know, execution up. And I really felt like they all bought in 110%. Um, and they really bought into some defensive adjustments we made and executed at a high level. And so it was nice to see. And I think, you know, moving forward, we need to realize that if we can do that that night, we can do it every single night. So what do you think are your team's strongest points right now at this point in the season? Oh, man, I don't want to jinx anything. So <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to work on everything. So. <laughs> um, but, no, I think, you know, we've got to continue to work together um, and continue to bring the effort and the energy at all times. You know, that's something that's big for us. You know, they're, they're entertaining to watch because they're exciting to watch, and they, they do, you know, exciting things. But um, we got to make sure that we are all going to bring that effort and energy every night. 
that we play. And strategic-wise, uh, when it comes to things that you're trying to improve to get your team to the next level and make sure they finish strong, what are you guys working on? Not making so many errors. <laughs> you know, volleyball is a game of making errors, but we want to eliminate the ones on our side and want to play a little bit cleaner game. And I think for us going forward is that we understand we're going to make mistakes. We just want to limit those and, you know, stay away from, you know, four or five error nights to kind of keep it towards the one or two. Yes, and you guys have seven more games before the conference championships. Uh, what are your goals with a handful of teams that are in that race to make it to conference? What do you want to see your team do in these next few games? Yeah, I want us to attack every game, you know, with an intensity level of we have to win this to you know to make the conference tournament to, to accomplish our you know postseason goals. And I think going forward, if we play at the level we are able to, we can make a statement. Um, but we have to you know execute. We have to do it every single night. We can't overlook anybody. We have to go out, earn it night in and night out. And you know, I'm excited to see see where we go. Awesome. Well, thank you, Coach. We're looking forward to seeing your team. Hopefully, have some more exciting wins like we did this this last week. We are going to throw you to commercial real quick. When we come back, we'll have head football coach with us. Hi, this is Michael, owner of the Wood Iron Grill in Oskaloosa on South 11th Street, your home for chef-inspired cuisine. From the delectable food that we serve to our gracious hospitality, the Wood Iron Grill provides a warm atmosphere with panoramic views of emerald fairways and rolling greenery. We're proud to call Oskaloosa home and proud to be awarded the best burger in the state. If you're looking for extraordinary flavor and impeccable service, it doesn't get any better than the Wood Iron Grill. Check out our events and special calendar online or on Facebook. It's more than an education. It's more than a degree. William Penn University is alive with opportunity. Opportunity in a diverse student body. Opportunity in a staff that works with your budget. Opportunity in over 30 programs of study. Opportunity in a classroom where your voice is heard. Find your future and the opportunities waiting for you. Start your planning today at wmpenn.edu and see why William Penn University is alive with opportunity. For nearly 40 years, Musco has specialized in the design and manufacture of sports and large area lighting solutions. From neighborhood ball fields to international speedways, Musco is committed to providing cost-effective lighting solutions and services you can rely on. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting, we make it happen. Welcome back to the William Penn Coaches Show here at Wood Iron Grill. I got head football coach, Coach Hafner, in with me. Thanks for coming out again. Thank you. Uh, by the way, good luck next week. I, the last uh, the last match coming up, so good luck to the ladies' golf team. Thank you. Yes, go women's golf. So let's talk about that last game. Another close one. You guys lost on a last-second block field goal against Central Methodist. But overall, your team stats were strong. How would you say they played? Well, we played really good. And, and that's the thing about our team right now is, you know, we're practicing well. We're playing well. We just, you know, we have to figure out a way to, to make a play. I mean, you know, you hear it all the time when you're watching football. And, you know, if you, if you can make just, just one more play than the other team, you know, you have a, a really good chance. And, and right now we're just not quite getting to that point where we're making that play. And, um, you know, we gave ourselves a chance. You know, we got the ball back right at the end of the game with just over a minute. We drove it down, got it in really good field goal range. And, you know, we just didn't, we didn't make the play. You know, we didn't make the play at the end of the game. But, you know, I'm proud of our kids. They gave everything they, they had. And, um, you know, I told them after the game, you know, we tell them all the time that if, if you give us 100%, you lay it all out there and we don't win, you know, we're, we're, we're proud of you. You know, you've done everything we've asked you to do. you practiced well, you prepared well, you played hard. Um, and if we keep doing that, we're, we're going to find a way to win here pretty quick. All right. And one of the big questions of the season is who's going to be quarterback at this next game? Can you give me an update on that quarterback situation? Um, well, right now we're still waiting on some, some injury updates, you know. So we'll, we'll, we'll know a lot more tomorrow. Um, I wish I could give you a definite right now. It would make my life a lot easier, I know. But... Uh, but right now we, we don't have an answer to that. So uh, as much as I really would, I'd love to give you that answer. We'll know more tomorrow morning. Yes, and of course, so uh, Alex Green has been with the team for what seems like forever. Yeah. Returned to time and time again. But Rodney Hall, uh, freshman, is a very athletic, versatile quarterback. Um, even threw for 175 yards in this last game. Do you think that having this new quarterback on the team has helped actually open up the field and allow for more options? Um, I do, and I think that you know, with Rodney, there there are a few more things that we can do. Not that Alex can't do it, 
Um, but you know, we're 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 trying to to develop and call plays around Rodney's strengths, and, and those are his strengths. You know, Alex's strengths are getting the ball to the right people when we run the option, and Rodney's is you know go out and be a playmaker. And so, um, you know, we'll continue to do that depending on who's playing quarterback, and um, you know, hopefully we can continue to have the success we've had uh, offensively. And this week is your bye week. What does this bye week look like for you guys? Uh, what and what also is the team's health going into this last stretch of games? Well, you know, last week was our bye week, so we're, you know, we, we gave them, you know, we practiced for three days, we gave them a couple days off, no football, no, no nothing, and so um, we've had a really good week, you know, we'll, we'll hit the road to Grandview this week, and so it's just one of those things where, you know, Grandview just brings a little bit more intensity out of everybody, um, and it, it's just one of those things that um, we've had a good week, we feel well prepared. Uh, now we just need to go play hard, and, and like I said earlier, we need to go try and make that one more play. And um, you know, not knowing these kids, we're going to find a way. So uh, we're excited, and we're, we're ready to play on Saturday. Yeah. So this year has kind of been the year of those close games. I know it. What have you guys been doing? What adjustments have been made to make sure that you guys can kind of get that edge in those close games, as well as be competitive against top-ranked teams like Grandview? Well, I think I think the biggest thing is, you know, to to be competitive, you have to match their intensity, and and. The, the good thing about this team is that we've been able to do that week in and week out. You know, like, like I, I've continued to say, and I've said it a couple times, is you know, we don't have to worry about if our kids are going to play hard or not. They, they always play hard. They're, they're given max effort, and, and really that's all we can ask. You know, it, we, we have a, an opponent this week that if we don't match their intensity, it's going to be a tough day. But if we do, um, and I've seen teams play against Grandview, if you match their intensity, uh, you'll give yourself a chance. You know they'll give you opportunities and things like that. And you know, we just have to take advantage of those opportunities. And you know all we can ask is that we just keep setting ourselves up to win a game at the end. And you know eventually we're we're going to win one of those games. And do you think Grandview coming into this game undefeated? Maybe you guys have that little edge, knowing that they are sitting on this throne and everybody is just playing the hardest game of the season, trying to knock them off. Well, and that's and the thing about it is is they've been doing this for a while. You know, they've been winning for a while. Um, they know that they're going to get everybody's best shot. And the one thing that I can promise is they're going to get our best shot. You know, we're going to go up there and we're going to play hard and. Um, we're going to do everything we can to, to put ourselves in position to win. And, um, you know, last year they didn't get our best shot. And it was unfortunate that, you know, we didn't play very well that day and they played well. And um, it'll be different this year. And we're excited about the opportunity to go kind of show people that last year was a fluke and, and that we're going to go play well and we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. So would you say, like Grandview, even being a cross-town rival, they're a rival school, is this game held at a higher level than other games? And do you guys approach it just like any other game? Uh, you know, as a coach, you always like to think that you're approaching it like every other game. But you, well, I mean, we know better. Um, it's Grandview. I mean, uh, it, it is. I mean, and it's just like them with us. You know, it's they're going to play harder than they maybe would against somebody else, and and we're going to play probably harder than we would against somebody else. And um, it, it's it's a fun rivalry. Uh, it can get a little bit chippy at times, which makes it even more fun. Um, you know, and the fact that we play for a big old gigantic trophy that's bigger than this table makes it even more fun. Yeah. And so, you know, we haven't had the trophy since 2017, and um, we're going to do everything we can to go up there and bring that trophy back to Oskaloosa on Saturday. Awesome. That's what we like to hear. Yes. And we just saw our women's volleyball team. Yes, it was awesome. I watched it. It was fantastic. So yes. There's a little hope there. Coach, yeah. you got six games down, five games remaining. What are your goals that you have set for this team for the remainder of the season? Well, we want to go 5-0. and oh. You know, we want to go 5-0. and oh. We want to you know, we want to go one and zero this week. Um, you know, you hear that, that that's a really cliche statement, but um, I, I think our kids. You know, we, we've approached the season one game at a time, and I think that's why we've been playing so well. Is is we prepare week to week. We you know we're not we're not trying to prepare for somebody else. We're preparing to play Grandview. Um, our kids are locked into to, to the game plan and what we're trying to accomplish. And I think that they've been doing that for six weeks. I think we're going to do it for five more. Again, just keep giving ourselves a chance. We know we're going to kick the door down at some point. Awesome. Well, thank you, Coach. That's all we got for you today. Big thanks to all these coaches for coming out. And an even bigger thank you to Wood Iron Grill for letting us use their facilities to let you all know what's going on. We will see you next week, same time, Thursday, 730, here at Wood Iron Grill.